Hello and welcome to another SEO Pass Suite training video. Today, you will learn how to set up website auditor scroller settings. This video will be useful if your site uses JavaScript or if you have specific requirements to the crawl, such as robots instructions, excluding some pages from the crawl, crawling subdomains and password protected pages, and so on. First, you'll need to either rebuild your current website auditor project or create a new one. If you already have a project for your site, open it and click the Rebuild Project button. If you don't, click New to create a project from scratch and enter your website's URL. Now, check the Enable Expert Options box. At this step, you'll see a bunch of options you can tweak. Let's look at those one by one. The first setting determines whether you'd like Website Auditor to respect your site's robots.txt instructions during the crawl. By default, it's enabled and set to SEO Power Suite Bot. This means that Website Auditor will follow robots.txt instructions that apply to all bots when crawling your site. In the drop-down menu, you can pick Googlebot, Googlebot Mobile, Bingbot, and so on, if you want the tool to only crawl the pages a certain search engine is allowed on. Finally, you can uncheck this box altogether if you'd like Website Auditor to crawl all of your site's pages regardless of robot's instructions. The next option is the user agent string. If you'd like to crawl your site using a specific user agent, check this box and select a user agent from the drop-down menu. You can also manually type in any user agent that's not on the list. Next is the limit scan depth option. This will let you specify the maximum number of clicks you want website auditor to do before it stops the crawl. By default, this is unlimited, but this option can be useful if you have a large site and are looking to do a quick site audit of your most important pages. Lastly, Search for Orphan Pages will make the tool scan search engines indexes and your sitemap to find the pages on your site that aren't linked to internally, but do exist. In the Filtering tab, you can choose to collect only the pages with certain symbols in the URL or exclude certain pages from the crawl. This can be handy if you only want to crawl certain parts of your site, say, your blog or forum. The option below lets you do the opposite. Specify which URLs you don't want to be crawled. Under the same tab, you can also select the kind of resources you want Website Auditor to add to your project. The Speed tab lets you decrease the number of requests Website Auditor makes when crawling your site. This can be handy if your site is hosted on an older server and you are worried it may not be able to handle the crawl. Under URL parameters, you can choose whether or not you want Website Auditor to treat URLs that only differ in dynamically generated parameters as the same page. If you don't, feel free to uncheck this box. If you do, check it and select either all parameters or custom parameters if you'd like to ignore some but respect others. You can also modify the list of custom parameters and specify your own if you need to. Finally, under Advanced Options, there are a few more customizations you can tweak. Use the first box if you'd like to crawl the site's subdomains along with the main domain. The Execute JavaScript option is handy if your site is Ajax-based or if some of your content is dynamically generated. If that's the case, make sure to enable this box to make sure all your content is rendered and crawled. Lastly, there's an option that lets you crawl websites that require authentication. If your site or a part of it requires a login and password and you leave this box unchecked, the password-protected pages will not be crawled. If you'd like to crawl the password-protected content though, simply check this box and specify the login details. That's it! When you are done setting up the crawler prefs, click Next and proceed with the site crawl. It will be done exactly as you set it up. Remember that you can always access these crawler prefs through Preferences – Crawler Settings. Mind that these settings are project-specific, which means that for every new project you create, the default prefs are used. That's it! Thanks for watching! In the next video, you will learn how to do on-page SEO analysis of your landing pages.